Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I last uploaded, but look, I'm back now. Hopefully I'll be uploading more. So today's video is something that I wanted to do for a while now, and it's talk about my uh, cleft lip and panic. So what is it? So a cleft is a gap or a split in the upper lip or roof of the mouth. This is because parts of the face didn't join together during development in the womb. As a kid, didn't really pay much attention to it, to be honest, I guess, when you're a kid, you know, you're interested in other things like playing football or playing with your friends. And I guess um, it wasn't until, I guess, the, when, I, when, when I got to secondary school, I guess that's when, you know, people started to point it out a lot more. You know, there's different kids from like different areas that I didn't know, so I think that's when bullying started as well. I think the first two years we were the worst ever, I guess, and then that's where my self-confidence started to dip a little bit, you know, my interest in school definitely dipped a little bit, and I think if it wasn't for a certain group of teachers there, uh, I think I, I don't know why I was just left sooner, I guess. Um, since school, I think um, my, my self-confidence has been sort of up and down, you know. Uh, but I think ultimately, you know, during that time, I think um, it was important that I had the right people around me, so friends and family. Also, one of the major factors is that I surrounded myself with you know, people that didn't judge me as as much. So I think, I think, when it comes to friends and family, I think they will be the most important people in your life. I think, and I think definitely one of those people being my mum. She was there pretty much every step of the way growing up. Um, uh, but unfortunately, she passed away early two thousand and sixteen. You know, it definitely was a real turning point in my life, and isn't someone who cared and loved for me so much, you know, it hurt a lot. But I think the thing that I take from that is that the love and care that she showed me, you know, I'll carry that with me forever. I think about two years after her passing away, I think uh, I decided I wanted to do, or well, run a marathon for her, and um, took me around about six hours to complete and I, I actually ended up tearing both my hamstrings so I had to walk most of it <laughs> but you know I, I did it so it was all good. In doing that I think it sparked something, something else so I think that's how I started my fitness journey so I started about like just just after so about four years ago now. I think when I compare myself to until now I've definitely you know, grown, grown a little bit, <laughs> you know, it's definitely been a massive, definitely been a massive personal transformation for me anyway, so, and like, in terms of how I, how I see myself, I guess, my self-confidence was definitely high, but I think ultimately I wasn't 100% happy with how, how I looked, pretty much, you know, so. I'd, I'd still see, like, how I look in the mirror every day, it's, you know, it's something that, was on the back of my head for a while so I think after having some thoughts for a while I think especially during Covid like when I spent a lot of time with myself you know um, you know you spend a lot of time in your own thoughts you know you're like am I really happy I guess I think I waited until after lockdown sort of finished and then I was like okay well, I'd probably to do something about this, so um, I contacted my GP and asked if I, if I could be referred to a, a cleft specialist. And uh, basically, fast forward a couple of months, I had a consultation, and I, I basically explained what I wanted to happen. And they said, in order for that to happen, I needed to do some stuff before that. So I needed four things, I needed a root canal done and I had a, or well, I've recently had two wisdom teeth out, teeth out, so yeah, that's that's all that done. I think the next stage is braces, so, so to straighten my top, 
blow the teeth off a little bit. And then after that, depending on how the braces go, um, I might need jaw, jaw surgery. So I think I might have to dislocate my jaw and then <laughs> push it back a little bit. And then after that, it's like it's it's called rhinoplasticity. So basically, all it is is just put my nose back in, put put my nose straight in, pretty much. So yeah, so yeah, that's basically where I'm at so far. Um, I hope. I've explained everything okay in this video. Uh, I'm still trying to get used to explaining to the camera. All that. Let lot. me know what you think in the comments, and of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.